Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's RepTac101 here, and in this video, we're going to be, um, I'm going to be teaching you how to treat cuts and wounds on snakes. So, right now, we got a quick triple antibiotic gel, not cream, and our, a, a clean Q-tip. And he's in the blue right now, so he's a bit moody. Um, and the hard thing about this is where the cut is located. As you can see, he's got a cut right here on his eye. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get rid of that kind of stuff. will help the healing. So, I'm going to get him like this and gently, gently give him some ointment on his, on his cut. And, um, so we got the ointment on. He's not happy with me right now. And as you can see, he's in the blue. His eyes are a little darker. So, once we get that on, we're good. And uh, what you want to do is you want to put it on a couple times a day. Once in the morning and once at night. I don't know what happened to you, buddy, but I can guarantee you I'll be trying to take care of you. Um, so once we, we got that cream on, and we're going to kind of quarantine him and kind of let him recover. Keep him in here for a little bit just so the, the bacteria has time to, or not the bacteria, the, the, the antibiotic has time to really get inside that cut. And you don't want him going in there in his water and getting it off. So, <clears throat> you know, you just do that a couple times. And it's, it's very difficult, especially when you're dealing around the face and around the eye. But it has to be done because these these cuts can be fatal, and and especially if you don't know what caused the cut. So, you know, we got Equate Triple Antibiotic, um, long lasting protection against infection, and I mean, the stuff works really good on cuts and burns and scrapes, and um, it is a gel gel base, not cream base. So it's a gel base. nice gel based uh, antibiotics and you want to get a nice clean sterile swab no not, nothing on it no hair don't you don't want any junk on it and just want to get it get it on there I, I wet it first and then put it on I just want to get them a little bit more um, to make it just you can never be too safe with this. So you wanna get enough on there. Um so when doing this be careful because the snake can get pretty pissed off. So we got our, our snake. And we got our antibiotic ointment. And you don't want to get it in the snake's eyes. You got to be very, very careful. See, so now we got the snake. We got the cream on there, the ointment. As you can see, he's in the blue. And when you hold him, very gentle. You don't want to squeeze him and hurt him. Very gentle, but firm. Um, I use gloves sometimes just to see what mood he's in and it's not that I'm afraid of him I just I hate getting bit in the fingers it's not a very good thing and you don't want to get the cream in his eye and I got a little bit a tiny bit in his eye and I as you saw I wiped it off you just want to make sure your snake is taken care of and you know you can see you know he's a good sized snake and he's a good looking snake 
and I don't want him to get all screwed up because of a cut and it's out of his eye um, it's not in his vent so he can breathe fine but he's nice and he's real dull right now I don't know if you can tell the difference but I can he's, he's dull and his eyes are, are blue well somewhat it's like kind of like a, a, a light milky skin piece of, a thin piece of milky skin over his eye and um she's not in shed but she doesn't have any problems with her so you know just do this twice a day three times a day if you want you just don't want to you know it's just like a person you don't want to put it on too much because then uh, you can't, the wound can't breathe you don't want to smother him you just want to make sure you get it out get into the wound and I think the wound was caused by uh, a, a feeding error and since I've had him I've only gave him I've only given him the pinkies so it wasn't caused by me um, it was I noticed it the same day that I got him and it looks like it's getting a little a little worse so we're gonna start treating it every day every day twice a day and um, see how it goes but uh, I think what happened was the guy that had it before me, he said that he was eating live my adult mice and small rats. And I think when he went to go eat it alive, so they don't kill it, the rat or mouse got him in the face pretty good, right by the eye. And that, that could have been a fatal, fatal bite right away if he would have got him in the eye. You can see, I mean... He's all calm, you know, he's relaxed, and, you know, give it a week, two weeks, and he sh his eye should heal, heal up really good. So, if you guys have problems with, uh, sn with snake bites, um, whether it's a bite or it's just a cut, or, or anything like that, anything like this, this video will help you treat it. Hopefully you get more luck than me and you don't get a bite right next to the eye because that's one of my, my least favorite parts to, to start messing with is near the eye and the face so just remember your triple antibiotic ointment um, I was told you can also use Neosporin gel not cream I don't know I don't know what the difference does but um, make sure you're using the gel not the cream so um you know, like I said, I hope this video helps you guys. If you have any bites on your snakes, any cuts, any wounds, take care of it just like you would take care of yourself. So, thanks for watching, guys.